Be'ezrash Hashem. Today's daf is daf Lamed Vov. 37. Lamed Vov, yep. And may I move it on high bin. We're going to start from Lamed Hai, Omid Beis, three lines from the bottom. A new Gemara. The Gemara is discussing over here that the Mishnah said that if a Nazir takes a, a piece of challah and dips it into the wine, the wine is mitzaref, combines with the challah, and it's also to eat that piece of challah. In other words, the shear, the shear of eating of another eating wine is about one ounce, one one point two seven ounces, which is the shear of a kezayis. He's not allowed to drink that. But what happens if? If the Nazir uh, dips and he only has 75% of a kezayis of wine and the rest of the rest of the food is the bread, is the challah. So the Mishnah says, then it becomes, Rabbi Kiva says, that becomes osir for the Nazir. So you have heter combining with the iser and now the whole thing is osir, even though the iser itself is not totally a, a kezayis. So the Omer Rabbi Bo Omer Rabbi Yochanan Rabbi Bo said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan, "Call Isurin Shabbatayra." Any Isur in the Torah, for example, Caleb, you're not allowed to eat trefa fats. If you eat a half a kezayis of trefa fats and half a kezayis of regular fats, of kosher fats, uh, if you eat a half a kezayis of each, do you say Heter Mitzaref Leiser? Hi, Lewis, we just began. Okay, with three lines from the bottom of Lamed, Hey, Amid Beis. So Rabbi Bo said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan that call Isur, new Gemara, any Isur in the Torah, for example, you're not allowed to eat a, ch- a chalev, fats, the tray for fats of, a, of, a, of an animal. And, and there are kosher fats. If you eat a half a kazayas of tray for fats, along with a half a kezayis of kosher fats, and you combine it into one mixture, and you eat it, it's, it's permitted. Ein heter mitzaref iser. We don't say the heter combines with the iser, and the, the mixture becomes aser. That we don't say. And you don't get malchus on that, and that's what we're discussing. Chutz, the only exception to this is misure nazir, the iser of nazir. A nazir is not allowed to drink a kezayis of wine, which is 1.27 ounces. Let's say he, he dips one ounce of, of, of wine into a piece of bread, into a piece of challah. So then, so the, the heter of the challah combines with the wine and the whole piece becomes asr. Why do we say that heter combines with iser by iser nazir? Shaharei amra tayr, because the Torah says mishras, that even if anything soaked in wine becomes asr. Now, if it if if you actually eating uh, a kezayis of wine, so then Torah doesn't have to tell you that's usher. Of course, you're eating, you're eating a kezayis of wine. The the novelty of the Torah is that even if you're dipping, if the nazir is dipping his bread into less than a kezayis of wine, the fact is now when he eats the bread, he has a kezayis. It becomes usher for the nazir. Now, because we would say heter mitzdarf leisa, the, the, no, the it, it does connect with isa, but that's only by noazir. We go to top of the page. Small daf today. Ziidi Omar, Ziidi says that anything we say heter mitzdarf leisa, even oh. by any usher in the Torah. <clears throat> For example, the Torah says that you're not going to take a piece of yeast and throw it on the mizbeach. Yeast is tunished. You not put lot of put put it on the mizbeach because the Torah says kol soar the kol devas leisaktiru. Yeah. So now, what happens if he has a half a, a piece of soar of yeast with a let's say a half a matzah mixed together, yeast with matzah, and he puts it onto the mizbeach? So it's a it's he Ziri says af soar bevaldi aktiru. Even a half a piece of soar with a half a piece of matzah. Is the iser of uh, also applies the, the iser of throwing it onto the mizbeach and burning it on the mizbeach because Ziri is under the opinion that we do say heter mitzdarf le iser a heter combined with an iser as a mixture to become one big iser. 
That's the Chiddush of Ze'iri, because the Torah says kol so'ar, any type of yeast, which means that even if it's not completely a kazayas of yeast, but a half a zayas of yeast, along with a half a zayas of matzah, it combines into becoming a mixture. And it becomes asa. Keman, who does Ze'iri hold like? That this concept of heter mitzdarv liyser in, in kol kula is karablaza, like Rablaza says, the darish kol. Rablaza has this concept that we darshan wherever it says kol, it means heter combines with the iser. There's a pasuk that says kol machmetzes loisechelu. Right, you're not allowed to eat anything that has chometz in it. What happens if you have a mixture of yogurt with a bunch of uh, pieces of um, bread in it? Right, little pieces of bread, but not a kazayis of bread. With the yogurt, with the bread, that's called kutach, a mixture, is that aser? So Rabbi Laza says, since it says kol machmetzis, means that any kometz combines with heter, and the whole mixture becomes aser. So Ziri says, aligns himself up to the opinion of Rabbi Laza, that who darshins kol by chometz. That means that he, that this halak of heter and starfli iser applies also by chometz. So the Gemara asks, then why did Ze'iri only say that it applies by the Mizbeach, putting Sa'or on the Mizbeach? He should say it apply. It applies also by Chometz. Ze'iri should make his statement by Chometz and says that by Chometz also the Isser of Heta Mitzdarach, the Isser applies. Because Ze'iri uh, lived after the Beis Amigdash. So if he's trying to tell this concept of Heta Mitzdarach, the Isser, he should rather pick an Abeira that applies Bizman Azeh and Chometz. So Ze'iri should make the announcement in Shul that Chometz has a din, Hetem it's Tarf Le'iser. Because Ze'iri paskin like Rabbi Lazar. The Gemara says, yes, Ein Hachi Nami. That's true. Ze'iri does paskin like Rabbi Lazar, and his halacha would also apply by Chometz. But why did he say his statement by things, throwing things on the Mizbeah? El Apuke Me Abaya. Because Ze'iri wanted to argue against Abaya. The Omar, Abaya said, Yesh haktar bepochus mikazayas. Abaya holds that by Soor, he learns any amount of yeast you throw on a Mizbeach. Even if you throw a quarter of an ounce of yeast on the Mizbeach, you get an Abaya. You don't need a Kazayas. That, right, Ziri argues. Ziri needs a Kazayas. Albeit, you can combine Hatha with the Isser, with the, with the yeast, to make a Kazayas, but you still need a Kazayas. So Ziri wanted to show that he disagrees with Abaya, who holds Yeshak Tar Bepachas Megazayas, who holds that you could be mocked at even with less than a Kazayas, so you don't lead even a mixture. Gamash Malon, that's why Ziri wanted to tell him his din, Ein Haktar Bepachas Megazayas, that there is no such a thing of Haktar with less than a Kazayas. You don't get an Avera if you throw a little piece of yeast on the Mizbeah. It has to be a Kazayas. That's why Ziri said, I agree it has to be a kazayas, but also the din is, like in Kola Torah Kula, Keter Mitzdarav Le'isar, that even if you only have mostly, let's say, I'm saying most of it has to be the Isser. Most of the Zayas is the Isser. But now you have a little Heter completing out the, the kazayas. So then, Ziri says, in Kola Torah Kula, we say that's also too. So this is where we're holding right at this point. We have a Machloikis, What's the din of heter mitztaraf le'iser? That means you don't have enough of iser. You only have like three quarters of a kezayis of iser and another quarter of a kezayis of heter. Would you say they mitztaraf? Would you say they mitztaraf? Rabbi Yochanan said it only works by nausea. Ze'iri says, in kol kula we say that, that concept. So Yosef Rabdimi v'kama lahosh matzah. Rabdimi said over the following statement for Rabbi Yochanan, and I guess Rabdimi agreed with Rabbi Yochanan. Rabdimi agreed with Rabbi Yochanan, and in concept, Rabdimi held, Rabdimi held that uh, that that Rabdimi held that in Kolatayra in Kolatayra Kula we do not say hetem itzarf leisa only by nazir. The Aisve Abaya, Abaya asked the question, what do you mean? We don't say in Kala Torah Kula Hetem et Saraf Le'isar. I'll bring you a proof. In another area of Torah, we do say Heter et Saraf Le'isar. Listen to this case. Hamikva shall Truma. Let's say a person has, let's say, a oatmeal full of Truma. Okay? Bahashum, Bahashemen, Shalchulim. And 
what happens is that in the, in the middle of the oatmeal, let's say, or porridge, he has a mixture, a mixture of garlic and oil of chulin, of non-truma food. So the porridge itself was truma. And, and mixed into it was some garlic and oil uh, to the porridge made of chulin. So really, most of the, of the mixture is truma. And then tful yoyim touched, you know, a portion. Of, <laughs> a tummy person touched the, this mixture. So, so since it's mostly truma, pasal is cool, and the whole thing becomes usr because it's as a din like truma, and a truma that's touched by a tvil yoyim becomes a shlishi, and nobody allowed to eat it. Even a coin is now allowed to eat it. Okay, that's if the porridge itself was made of truma, but the condiments that you're putting into this mixture was made of chulim. But what happens if you have the other way around? Mikpa shel chulim. You have a you have a porridge full of chulim. Vahashum vahashem and shel truma, and and you have garlic and oil of truma. So so now most of it is chulim. So you would think that it should be bottle. Right, it should be bottle bereif, and therefore the whole mixture should be chulin, because only the garlic and the oil is truma. The nagel tefil yoyim b'mikzosin, and a tummy touched a little part of it. Loy posa el mokim magoy. Wherever the tefil yoyim touch, you know, scoop it out. That's the part you can't eat. The rest you can eat. So the Gemara understood why, because uh, the uh, why would it become aser? Why don't you say it's bottle arrive? Why even that piece becomes asa? The Havina bar, the Gemara, the, they asked, Mokum Magoy am I possible? The Yeshiva boys asked, why when the most of it is chulim and just the oil and the garlic is made of truma, why if a tful yarn touches it, you can't eat even that piece? Why don't we say that the whole thing is bottle arrive? And that there's, we look at it as totally 100% chulim. See, even if a tful yarn, a tummy touches it, that's not a problem. It's only chulin. So how do you how do you explain that, Brisa? But Amar Rabbi Barachon, Amar Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan himself explained it, and this is Rabbi Yochanan who said that Heter does not mitzdarf liisser in Kol Atayra. Here, look what Rabbi Yochanan says. Ma tam. The reason why it becomes tame is hoil vizar loika ola bekazayis. If Zar would eat this entire with the eat, take a kazayis of this mixture. Let's say you would take a, a kazayas. In that kazayas, you'll have, let's say, a little piece of truma, but most of it will be chulin. But Rabbi Yochanan says, if a non kohen would eat that little piece, he would get malchus. So why? Because heter mitzdarif, it must be, because heter, the most of the chulin, is going to be mitzdarif, is going to combine with a little bit of truma, that's part of the oil and the garlic, and therefore... A non coin who eats it would get malchus. So since we treat it as if it's truma, that's why if 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 the person who touches it at the point that he touches it, we we machmer and say that what that as soon as you take it out, that as soon as that that piece that he touched becomes tame, we shouldn't eat that part. So, but what do you see, my tama? What do you see from this story that Rabbi Yechonon holds that even by truma combining with chulin? We say heter mitzdarf liyisa. My timer. We go to Amid Beis. Lav mishum. Isn't it because the heter mitzdarf liyisa that the 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 heter of chulin, the the let's say it's fifty percent chulin, and we say uh, 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 or fifty uh, percent truma combined, and that's why if a non zar non kohen eats it, he begets malchus. So we see that Rabbi Yechiren didn't limit only. Only by Nazar. We see in other areas of the Torah, Rabbi Yochanan was in agreement that Heter does combine with Isser. So, how do you resolve that apparent contradiction between Rabbi Yochanan and Rabbi Yochanan? So, Rabdimi answered Abaya and he said, Loi, not so. Not that Rabbi Yochanan said the Heter is mitzvah of Isser. That means that if you're eating a little kazayas of this porridge, so you must have a little bit of truma and a little bit of chulin and it combines and that's why it's asr. No, you ate the whole porridge. Umay kezayas, the ike kezayas bechadeya chilas pras. There is enough oil and, and garlic in this 
of, of truma in this mixture that if you would eat the whole porridge, you would eat a kazayas. Not only that, if you eat it, you would be able to eat it in under three minutes. And therefore, if you eat it in under three minutes, in three minutes, which is the time to eat a half a loaf of bread, that's what Rabbi Yechim said, you get malchus. In other words, it has nothing to do with heter being with star of Lisa. Really, you're eating, what Rabbi Yechim meant to say is that this truma, there's enough truma in here that there's a kezayish truma in this mixture. And if you would eat the mixture in, in under three minutes, you would have eaten a kezayish of truma. And therefore, that's why we treat it as truma. And therefore, a tfulyam that touches that spot, we treat this mixture as if it's truma. Although the porridge is made of chulam, the, the condiments, the oil and the garlic are made of truma, we treat it as truma because there's a kezayas of truma in this mixture. And if a coin would eat this, a, a person eats this mixture under three minutes, he would be eating a kezayas of truma. So now the Gemara asks a question. So now he's telling me a new concept that if a person eats, let's say a, 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 a dover also, let's say you eat a mixture of iser with hatar. Let's say there's a kezayas with a mixture of hatar, 100% of kezayas, but it's mixed up with hatar stuff. If you eat it in under three minutes, so in total you ate a kezayas, but it's mixed up with hatar food, that's also dairaisa. So the Gemara asks a question, the Chilas Pras, eating an Isser in the amount of the time to eat a half a loaf of bread, let's say in three minutes, and you're eating this Isser that's mixed that's mixed in Heter, but you're eating a Kezayis, is the Raisahi, that's also in Atayra? Amale, so Rav Dimi answered, yes, in, it is Aser. Again, it's Aser. What does it mean it's Aser? If you have a Kezayis of something that's a Dover Aser, a kezayis, but it has mixed with it also heter. But of course, there's a kezayis of iser in there. So, so that when you eat the whole uh, mixture, you'll end up eating a kezayis of iser, 100% kezayis of iser, in four minutes. In, three, in, in the time it takes you three, four minutes, you're already uh, consumed a kezayis of iser. That's also awesome in a Torah. So the Gemara asks, if so, if that is a concept, Ihachi, then let me ask you a question. Am I pligi Rabbanan alayd Rablozer bekuta chabavli? Rablozer and Rabbanan have an argument in kuta chabavli. Kuta chabavli is this um, uh, is this food item that you're not allowed to eat on Pesach. And Rablozer said that if you eat it, you get malchus. Rablozer said that what is this kuta chabavli? It's a type of yogurt, sharp yogurt. It's usually a dip, and it's mixed with breadcrumbs, okay, bread inside of it. So Blazin says you can't, if you dip your challah on Pesach into it, or you, 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 I'm sorry, if you dip something into it, you get a lav. If you eat a, 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 the dip of kezayis, if you eat a kezayis of it, even though you're not eating a kezayis of bread, Blazin says you get malchus of it, because the, uh, each kezayis of this kutach is also for itself. But according to the Rabbanan, Rabbanan said you can't get Malkus. So the Gemara wants to know, but technically, even according to Rabbanan, you should get Malkus. Because if I eat the whole entire Kuta Chabavli in the time span of three minutes, I'm probably going to consume, consume a Kezayis bread, a total 100% Kezayis bread. So even according to the Rabbanan, one should get Malkus by eating Kuta Chabavli. That's the question of the Gemara. Since I'm going to eat the entire kuta kababli, although it's a dip. I mean, if I eat the whole thing, then I probably ate a kezayis of bread, and therefore I should be chayiv because eating a, a kezayis during in the time span of of a chilas pras of three minutes, you get malchus. Amale, so he answered back. So uh, he answered back. Rabdimi answered back. Hanach lekuta chabavli. Leave go the case of kuta chabavli. The leka kezayis bechdei achilas pras. It's impossible to eat this entire dip, right? Imagine eating an olive dip with. Uh, it's impossible to eat it in this time span of three four minutes, because eat the kosarf le misraf. If you're gonna gulp it down as a sharp item, right? You're just gonna gulp down this whole kutach. So nobody does that. In fact, you could burn your stomach with it. 
Butler daite eats a kol adam. Then you, again, whatever you do is not called achila, not eating it. We, we, you're, the, you're the odd ball out. That's not called eating it, so you won't be chayev. E mishta kosh shatar. If you continue to dip things, let's say you dip a carrot into this kuta chabavli, so then you're not eating a kezayis of bread. So you're not eating a kezayis of bread in this time span of four minutes. So that's why the Rabbanon say you don't get malchus. But Rabbi Loza says you do get malchus because the cream, the, the yogurt part of it, becomes usher because you combine the yogurt with the minimum of the bread and he holds um, that hetem it's starfly iser by chametz. So one more, two more questions. Aceve, uh, two more questions. Again, you said we don't say hetem it's starfly iser in other parts of the Torah. So that's what Ravdimi said. So let me give you another question. We have shte meduchais. You have two mortars. Mortars is where they crush, um, uh, crush like say spices. That's where you crush spices. Achash of truma, one was crushing spices of truma, and one was crushing spices of kulam. Ula front of, in front of you, shte kadiris. You have two uh, plates. Achash of truma, v'achash of kulam. And you have one of truma and one of kulam. And the spices fell each one into one plate. Now you have a question. Perhaps the truma spice fell in the chulin plate and the chulin spice fell in the truma plate. So can are now both plates also for Yisrael to eat? And, and They're both permitted to be eaten. The chulin is permitted to be eaten by Yisrael and the truma is permitted to be eaten by a chulin, by, by a koyin. Sha'ani oimer, because I'm going to say, chulin l'soy chulin naflu, the chulin spices fell into the chulin plate, utruma l'soy truma naflu, and the truma spices fell into the truma plate. Now, why, now think about that. You, you're just going to guess and say that the chulin fell into the chulin, it's a 50-50 it's a chance. What would happen if the chulin fell into the truma? The chulin spices fell into the truma spices. Wait, there's a possibility that if you would eat if you say Achilles pras the oiraisa, that means that if you eat up that plate in this time of four minutes, you're going to be eating up a kezayis in the time of Achilles pras, right? You're going to eat a kezayis in the time of Achilles pras, and you're eating enough uh, truma spices. So how could it be that a, a, a non yisrael could eat it? So it must be it must be that eating the Achilles pras right is not oiraisa. The whole concept, once a little spice of chulin falls into, once a little spice of truma falls into chulin, it's not also daraisa, even if you would be able to eat the whole thing in, uh, in a, in a chilis pras period. So, eating a kezayis in the time span of eating a half a loaf of bread is also midaraisa. My Amrina, why would I be go so lenient and say shani oimer that I'm going to say that the Yisrael is a lot to eat? You know the chulin plate. Why? Why you see if you stroll out to eat the chulin plate? Perhaps the truma fell into the chulin plate, and the, the, the Yisrael is eating truma. Elamai, it must be that the reason why you say it's permitted is because even if the Yisrael would eat that chulin plate, he's eating just a mixture, and eating a mixture of of uh, even if he eats a kezayis in a chilas pras, he's not being even a daraisa. Plus, there's a chance that it, it's not mixed with truma. That's why it's permitted. So we see from there, Achilles pras is not dairaisa. So the Gemara says, Elamai, it must be, you're saying something else. Hetem it's taraf liisser. You must hold that even if it's less than a kezayis, it, uh, less than a kezayis of, of, of truma combines with the heter. So then for sure, Amai Amri Nushani Yoimer, why would I say that the Yisrael is allowed to eat the chulam plate what your opinion is that hetter is mitzdarf leiser in kolatay rakula, so therefore, what you, even a small, less than a kezayis of truma falling into this mixture, falling into the plate, should make the eating a kezayis from that plate also. And so, why is the Yisrael permitted to eat from that plate? You abaya have to make sense of that brisa also, and it doesn't make sense according to you abaya. Yisrael should not be allowed to eat from the plate. So the Gemara says. Ella, it must be that this price is not a question to anybody because the truma falling into the chulin is us anyway, Midrabonim. Why? 
Because leave go, truma of spices is only drabonan. In the Chumash, it only says that you have to give off truma from wheat and wine, dogan and sirish. With Rabbanon, we give from, uh, we give from uh, other things, let's say fruits, vegetables, and spices. So since this whole thing is uh, the Rabbanon anyway, they are makel and say, you don't have to, the, we can assume that the spices of the truma fell into the truma plate and the spices of the chulam fell into the chulam plate. One, mm-hmm. last, one last question, and then we stop. Eisve, we're at the bottom of Lamed Heyam Ebez, Lamed Vav Ebez. Eisve, come here, another question. Stay kupas. Here you have two big uh, boxes of achashel truma, achashel chulin. One is truma wheat and one is chulin wheat. Lifneim in front of them stay sa'im. There's two smaller boxes, achashel chulin and achashel truma. One has already chulin wheat and one has truma wheat. So you have big, big uh, containers in front of two small boxes. There's two one truma container, one chulin container. One small in front of is a small truma box and a small chulam box. And I know that these, these the contents in the containers emptied into the boxes. So perhaps there's a concept, perhaps there's a question, perhaps maybe the truma container fell into the chulam box. They're both permitted to eat. In fact, a, a non coin is pre- permitted to eat from the chulam box. Why? Shani Oymir, because I'm going to tell you, Chulin was say Chulin Nafla. The container of Chulin fell into the Chulin box. Truma, the container of Truma, fell into the Truma. The like Truma Nafla fell into the Truma box. Now, wait a second. But why don't we say perhaps the container of Truma fell into the Chulin box? And what's going to happen is that you're eating, you're eating, if a, if a non coin is going to eat it, he's going to eat a, a Kazayas of Truma in the. It, time span of Kedei Achilles Pras, even though it's a mixture of Chulin and Truma, but he's going to eat a Kezayis of Chulin, of Truma in the in the, in the the time span of Achilles Pras. So what would you say, Oymer, Isa, Kedei Pras, Osar, Amai, Amrin, Shani Oymer, if you hold Kezayis in eating uh-huh. Kezayis of in, in, under, in Achilles Pras, is also Medaraisa, why would you go so lenient and say, oh, the Truma fell into the Truma box and the Chulin fell into the Chulin box? And says the Gemara, we go to Lamed Zayin, I'm a bit, Aleph, on the two lines, and then we'll stop. So the Gemara, Rabbi ex- explained his question. According to me, when I always say that Heter combines with Isser, and so if Heter combines with Isser, then why don't you say a, 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 a non coin is not permitted, the Israel is not permitted to eat from the Chulin box? The reason is, there is a lot of Chulin out there. And once there's more Chulin than Truma, so then if there's 75% Chulin and then 25% Truma, so then you won't say Heter Mitztarf Le'iser. It'll become Batal. I believe that it becomes Batal. Uh, because when do you say heter mitzdarf leiser is only if it, like I mentioned before, seventy five percent has to be the the iser and twenty five percent of the kazayas is the heter. But if you have the opposite, if you have seventy five percent of the kazayas is the heter and twenty five percent is the iser, then you would not say heter mitzdarf leiser. So I'm going to tell you that uh, that it, the, 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 that it fell into this box, but. When you're going to say heter mitzdarf leiser, there's more heter than iser, so therefore it becomes bottle. El di didach to amrit mishum di ikeg zayis b'chdei achilas pras he nefishi chilin chulin my hava. Even if there's a lot of chulin over there, but at the end of the day, when the non koyin or the yisrael is going to eat from the that supposedly chulin box, he's going to be eating a kazayas of truma in 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 a time period of three minutes, and so it should be usher. So, because you hold uh. eating kazayas b'chdei achilas pras is also midairaisa. So, uh. therefore, the question is, how does how does this make sense? How does this brisa make sense according to you? According to you, Rav Dimi, Amalei. Rav Dimi says that the brisa makes sense. The reason why we go lenient in this brisa is hanach truma bizman hazed the rabbanan truma. Nowadays is only also midrabban. That's why we pass it. Truma bizman hazed is only midrabban. 
So therefore, once anything, this whole thing is midrabanan. Whenever there's a possibility that you could go lenient, you go lenient. So I say that the 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 truma container fell into the truma box. The chulin container fell into the chulin box. Okay, not a, a such a familiar daf, but uh, nonetheless very negaya for taruvais and mesachta nazir.